Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my finale to my Pan That palette. This year, I have been working on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette, and I'm doing this in conjunction with Jessica, Dana, and Courtney, and I have them all linked down below. We did start this at the beginning of the year, and I have been working on this all year, and as you can see from my thumbnail and from the title of this video, I have finished my palette. I know as a good project panner, I should probably keep this suspense going, make you wonder if I was able to finish it or not, but I'm too excited. I have completely finished this eyeshadow palette. As of the last update, I had four eyeshadows in here that I was still working on. So we'll go through the numbers, I'll go through the total number of uses, and then I will share a bunch of stats with you in case you are interested in hearing all of those numbers. And of course, at the end of the video, I will have my montage of what my palette looked like starting in January all the way up through the finale today. So the picture I have on the screen, the top picture is what it looked like last month, the bottom picture is what it looked like this month. As you can see by the photo, I had one shade in the top row and three left in the bottom row. It took me 19 more uses to finish off the shade Bloom that's in the top row. And then going down to the bottom row, it took me 11 uses to finish off the shade Dystopian. It took me 18 uses to finish off the shade Cyborg. And it took me 22 uses to finish off the shade Slate. So now let's change the picture. The one on the top is what a brand new palette looks like. The one on the bottom, of course, is what my palette currently looks like. So I'm gonna go over the total number of uses it took me to finish each eyeshadow. I had 59 uses on the shade Fresh. I got 130 uses out of the shade Pearl. I got 77 uses out of the shade Steampunk. I got 61 total uses out of the shade Rose Quartz. I have 74 uses on the shade Ember. I got 163 uses on the shade Bloom. And I got 75 uses on the shade Birch. In the second row, I got 77 uses on the shade Cinder. I got 73 uses on the shade Twig. I got 47 uses out of the shade Teak. I got 231 uses out of the shade Dystopian. I got 109 uses out of the shade Cyborg. I got 127 uses out of the shade Slate. And I got 378 uses out of the shade Noir. So now I wanna share some fun statistics with you. I took all 14 of the eyeshadows and I added up the number it took me to hit pan in every one of those eyeshadows. And that number was 316 uses. If I divide that by 14 eyeshadows, it took me an average of 22.57 uses to hit pan in these eyeshadows. I've also done the same with how long it has taken me to finish each of these eyeshadows. Adding up all the numbers for all 14 shades, it took me 1,681 uses to finish off all 14 of these eyeshadows. So 1,681 divided by 14, it's an average of 120.07 uses to finish each one of these eyeshadows. Now let's talk about weights. As you can see, I was able to use up 0.48 grams to completely finish off this palette. If I add that together with all of the rest of the grams that I have finished up in this project, I have used up 9.72 grams worth of eyeshadow in this project. So you've seen a picture of it, but this is what my palette looks like. I was able to get every single bit out of here. For the shade Bloom, this was kind of the pinky color in here. I was able to use that as an eyeshadow and occasionally I did use it as a blush topper. I don't have it on today. I did finish this a few days ago. So that's how I was able to use that one. Dystopian I could use as an outer corner and I used it in my brows. It was the perfect brow color for me. It wasn't too warm at all and I have missed it since it has been gone. I really wish I had another shade just like Dystopian. I'll have to go through my collection and find one. Then again I have a brow pomade I am avoiding using so maybe I should reach for that <laughs> instead of using shadows up in my brows but they're just so convenient. Cyborg was the silver taupey shimmer. It was beautiful, but this palette is four years old. It was pretty chunky and it was difficult to use. Uh, I wish I'd used this when the palette was brand new as opposed to waiting, but it was a beautiful shade. I do miss that one. And then the shade Slate, the gray, 
That's the one that I finished actually today doing this eye look. You can see I have this smoky gray eyeshadow look and then I have some black eyeshadow blended throughout as well. I've also used it as a contour a little bit on my cheeks. Since I finished off the shade Dystopian, I've been trying to use another brown eyeshadow in my brows and it is not the same. It is way too warm. I find that a lot of browns kind of lean orange. So I have been using the shade Slate in my brows to make them more cool tone. So I've been frankening the two eyeshadows together to get a decent brow shade and that is how I was finally able to finish up the shade Slate. So I am so happy. This is my second palette that I have finished. I do have my Modern Renaissance palette right there in my background behind me and I will have another palette to add. This is actually my third palette that I finished. The very first one was a Too Faced Sugar Cookie palette. I worked on that in Throwback 30 Project Pan, not the current round. Was it one or two rounds before that? I don't remember, but I, I'll put my playlist up on the screen so you can go back and see that it was the very first round of Throwback 30 that I did. So this is my third palette. I have finished my second ABH palette. I am so happy to have this done. I can't believe I finished it in time. I think a big difference between this one and the Modern Renaissance palette is the Modern Renaissance only had two shimmers. This palette was half matte, half shimmer, and that made a big difference in how easily I could get through these because I'm able to use up shimmers so much quicker than I am the matte eyeshadows. I think that's all the numbers that I have for you. I don't know if I have anything else to share besides the slideshow at the end of the video showing you how the palette has progressed throughout the year. You'll probably see this up here in the background. I'm just so excited I got to put it up there because this is something that I'm really proud of being able to finish. And if you saw my video where I have asked for votes on what I should pen next year, you know that I am not going to be doing another ABH palette for next year. I do want a little bit of a break from my ABH shadows. I have so many other amazing brands in my collection and I wanna to try to work on one of those for this upcoming year. You will see my intro to my new Pan That palette on January 1st if everything goes according to plan. But that is everything that I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.